Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I have a haul. Y'all know these are some of my favorite videos to film, especially when I get something different or something on sale, because who doesn't love a good sale? So today I'm going to be sharing some stuff that I picked up from Ulta, some nails. What else do we have? We even have a trend mood box. There might be something else. I don't know, because sometimes I say it's only a few things and then I find something. So we're just going to dig right in. But before we do, if we're new, please join the family. Hit that subscribe button if you love makeup, if you love beauty, if you love a little bit of fitness, this is the place for you. I won't keep you waiting if you want to see what I've picked up in my latest haul. Stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're going to start off with the products from Ulta. I decided to get some stuff from Ulta because I had some points and I had a discount code and I wanted to try the KVD new foundation. So I picked up the Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. I am wearing this today. I just filmed this look and to say this is full coverage, I was pretty surprised at how much I had to use to feel like I got good coverage, but my face is sitting. It is sitting nice. Everything looks flawless, smooth. It's matte, but I still feel like I still kind of have a glow going on. So I use the primer and the foundation together and the concealer, and I absolutely love how this came out. I picked up two shades. I picked up Tan 70 which is this shade right here. And then I also picked up Tan 72. In the Good Apple Balm, I am Tan 74. Where is it? It's back there. It's 74. And 74 is really golden. So I wanted something more olive golden than golden. And I wanted something that wasn't that shade. I don't like it. So these are the two shades right here. This is 74 on this side. This is 72. I'm keeping 74, 72 is going back. 72, I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. 72 is just a little too peachy, I think is what I feel like it is. I don't know, I feel like I say that and then I do this and then I'm like, well, is it? So I'm gonna try it on before I bring it back since I've already pumped it, I might as well. This is 70, I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna see because just the way this dries down, it doesn't look bad on camera, but I feel like in person, it just does not look right. I don't know what it is, but I don't think that looks bad right there. So let me show you what 70, two looks like which is what I have on it is darker and it is I just did I just swatch the same thing twice Lord <laughs> I feel like no right no no this is 72, this is 70. Okay, I'm like, what am I tripping? So I feel like I like 72 better, but I'm gonna try 70 on my face, a full face to see how it looks, how it dries down, and how it works with everything else, just so I can get a better idea of which shade looks the best long term. But I mean, honestly, the way my face looks like, the way my face looks right now, I like the way 72 looks, so. I picked up another foundation. This is the EXA High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. I've never seen anybody review this. And I have seen this in Ulta only at one location. It's not at every location. And I decided to get it because I matched myself in the store and felt like it was a good match. This is in the shade 180 Annette. It says that this has protective microalgae actives, some kind of berry, hyaluronic acid, and some advanced pigment technology to wear light and last long. Buildable finish for all people. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and swatch her too to see how she compares. Oh, I made these other swatches too big. Uh, ooh. You're not gonna be able to see that. Hold on a second. Okay, so I wiped off right in the middle. So this is, now 70's looking good too, I don't know. This is 72 over here, 
And then this is the other foundation. That looks a lot more golden. Interesting. I don't know if I like that anymore. We'll let it dry down. I feel like, I don't know. I tried it in the store and I felt like it was good and now I feel like it might be too yellow. We're gonna let it dry down and see. We're gonna do that with all of them. Up next, I picked up, okay, this is something new I've been wanting to try. These are the like, I don't know how you call these things. Lashes, like the little clusters. I've been wanting to try these to see if I could get something on that will last longer than just my strips, but won't bother me to sleep in. I can't sleep in a strip. I cannot, even just closing my eyes right now, I feel like it's sticking me. So these actually are supposed to be a luxe 3D lash. So they're kind of wispy and then they have a long, medium and a short. So you start with the long on the outside and then go short to the inside. Now I'm gonna be honest, I tried this with a either Kiss or Ardell. I don't remember, a kit that I bought and hauled, I think it's Ardell. And the lash glue did not work for me at all. My eyes would not stay dry. So the glue could never dry for them to stick. So. I know it was my fault. I'm not blaming it on the product. Because I think I was just putting it too close to my waterline. I watched some videos since then about how to do this. So I'm going to try again. But hopefully this will be a good alternative. And it'll be cute to have lashes every day if it stays on. Versus just my mascara. So I'll keep y'all posted on how this works. I may even do like a reel or a short or something. On one of these platforms to see how easy or how hard it is to apply them. This was kind of an impulse. This is the Natasha Denona Pastel Plexi Glow Highlighter. Now, when I saw the swatches on the models on the website, it looked like a really pretty, just peachy kind of gold champagne mix, but it says it has a green tint to it. And I don't think I saw that. So now I'm curious. This is the packaging. I think this is a really pretty shade of green. It's mirrored. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. And I know my camera's gonna mess it up. So from back here, you can kind of see like around here is, over here is pink. And then this is gold and this is green. So maybe it's separated. For some reason, I feel like that one corner looks more pink. So is it like maybe different, like three different shades and you mix them all together? I don't even know if y'all be able to tell. This is the kind of pinky side. This is right in the middle. And then this is where the green was. Does any of that look different? I don't think it does. I don't know why it looks like that in the pan where it clearly, I hope y'all can see this. I feel like when they're light like this, my lights kind of mess it up. Come on camera. Yeah, she is just too bright. I don't know, but I feel like right here legitimately looks pink. You can see it. And then up here looks green and then this looks gold. I'm gonna have to check the website and see if that's how it's supposed to look. But I swatched each section and it comes like that. I do kind of see the green now, but it looks more gold than green. So I don't know. I love Natasha Denona's formula and I thought this was gonna be pretty. So it's different to add to my collection. I also picked up the KVD Pore Refining Primer. Like I said, I am wearing this right now. This says that it's pore refining and also mattifying and minimizes the look of pores instantly and over time. It says it's hydrating, blurring, makeup it's extending, infused with rice water and green lentil. Whatevs. When I put this on, it felt, it didn't feel like it dried down to a powder. My face never felt tight but it wasn't sticky per se like um the hydro grip but i did feel like it kind of had like a it wasn't a slippery silicone feeling it wasn't just a moisturizer it felt like a primer so it just comes in this tube and this kind of reminds me i don't know why i'm thinking of nars they're pore minimizing primer a little bit but the texture you can kind of see a little bit it's a little cloudy and it's kind of thick, but it just feels, it feels hydrating. It doesn't smell. And it feels smoothing, but yeah, I just feel like, look at 
I feel like I can tell that did something to my hand. I don't know, but I really like how my face is right now. So we'll see how it wears, but I like this so far. I also decided to pick up the Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I am wearing this right now. I ate lunch, it wore off, and then I just put a gloss on top and I'm wearing it with one of my Colored Rain. Y'all ask me about my lip combos. This is the Luxie, uh -uh, Lux Liner in Brownie. I knew this shade was gonna be kind of pink. I do love the packaging on this. Very sleek, very pretty. I knew this was gonna be pink, but it's a lot pinker than I thought. I feel like it's kind of like reminding me of how Pat McGrath stuff is all like super pink, like Divine Rose kind of pink. I wish it was a little more nude and maybe I just should have got another color. But you know, I think it's cute. I did put a different gloss on top of it too just to kind of tone down the pink for this look. But I mean, it's a mousse, it doesn't dry down. It's not gonna make your lips all crusty and hard and crunchy and cracky. So yeah, I don't know. This is like I said, I put it on, I ate, put something else. So I can't really tell you how long it wears, but it felt really good going on. Next, and I stuck this, <laughs> I stuck this back in the package to remind me I needed to talk about it, but I did use this today too. This is the Telescopic Lift Viral Mascara. Now I got mine in black, but I got it in the waterproof because I don't use waterproof normally. And so I felt like if I was gonna pay for a mascara, knowing I got a drawer full of mascaras, I needed it to be something different. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I love this. I don't know if this video of this makeup look is up yet or not, but this, I had my liner done, I had my makeup, my eye makeup done, and I could still see this transform my lashes with my makeup done. Normally, that's a tell for me if a mascara is gonna be really good. The brush is kind of different because it is bristles. So one side, there are no bristles at all. On this top part right here, there are none. But then when you flip it over on the bottom, those are the bristles. You use that first to load your lashes and to like get all the product on it. And then you turn it to the side and you use, they call them the little hooks to help separate whoa to help separate um separate your lashes so i did that and i put two coats and i thought my lashes looked really good so i know there's a lot of controversy around this but the truth is it's really good this next palette i picked up just because i was like it's not that expensive it's one of my favorite color stories and there is a duochrome in it this is the ColourPop sage the day palette i feel like i have not bought a ColourPop palette in a minute and it has to be something really good to make me want to buy it at this point. This one came kind of messed up. I need to try to wipe this off. But this is what she looks like. And I just thought this was really pretty. I feel like that green is going to be dark enough to get a deep look. But I like this shade right here. Is she a satin? Yeah. I can tell she kind of has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, this is the duochrome right there. And then I feel like this kind of this shade's a little shifty too. I hadn't even swatched this yet. I'm going to swatch those shades, those two shades in the middle. Okay, that top one, this, I should have known better. This is the duochrome one, which is kind of like that green with the red base. And then this is the other green, which I think is super pretty. So I'm going to have to try this on my eyes because I feel like every time I buy an eyeshadow palette that has this kind of shade in it, I end up regretting it. I want to swatch that green. Oh, yeah, she's dark. Yes, that is pretty. Now, that might make me keep this palette. Last thing I got from Ulta. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I saw the color story, and I was like, that is what the most gorgeous, neutral mix of cool and warm tone shadows I have ever seen. And I love the Juvia's Place formula, so I pulled the trigger. I just, I couldn't help it. And at first I was like, do you even need to buy this? Because you just got the chocolates, and I'm sure some of the shades are similar. And they probably are, but I don't care because I don't care. This, so side by side, like you look at the dark browns and you're like, yeah, those kind of look similar. But that middle kind of tan light shade in the chocolates palette 
I was literally like, man, I wish there was something a little lighter, which they have this one here in the coffee one, the coffee shop palette. And then I just feel like there's a lot more options, of course, because it's bigger. So, yeah, I don't know. I just saw the color story, thought it was gorgeous, and I wanted to add it. So that's it. Oh, and yes, this is what I have on my eyes today. So I decided to do just a matte look, which I also don't normally do often. So I used the light shade, that cream shade, and it actually kind of looks whitish. And then I used the next lightest shade in the palette. And then I used a gray, which automatically brought it smoky, even though around blending it out, I used the warmer shade. So you can mix and match it and make it work. Last but not least, another thing that I absolutely love about Ulta is they always give you really good gifts with purchases and this big old bag, I think was a gift with purchase if you spent like $100, I don't even know. They had a couple different options. I'm just going to run through this quick. This is a Ahava Dead Dead Sea Water and Mineral Hand Cream, great for travel. This is one of the reasons I picked this bag. This is the Nice Melons Whipped Boob Butter. I've been wanting to try stuff from Truly and I've never, so I don't know that I need this for my boobs or what it's supposed to do, but smooth, hydrated, and taut. I guess you can't go wrong with that. They also have this BYOMA Bioma. Creamy Jelly Cleanser, never heard of the brand, so something new to try. This is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Double Repair Face Moisturizer. Is this sunscreen? Yes, SPF 30. Then it also had this Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer, and it says Bubble on it. I don't know what this is, never tried it. But good moisturizers are always necessary. This is the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. Is this in a shade? I guess it might be clear, it doesn't say. More stuff, the Wella Fusion Plex Mask. So this is an intense hair repair mask. Uh, this is a Givenchy Cologne sample. You have this Urban Decay Primer Potion sample. I'm being nosy, somebody's in front of my house. <laughs> this is the Lancome Regenery Lift sunscreen little one i don't normally keep those this is the not your mother's curl talk defining cream use this in my wigs there's more stuff oh there's two of these yeah huh two of the colognes invictus by paco robin raban i think this is for men i don't know Giorgio Armani My Way, y'all, so much stuff. Capari Whipped Moisturizer, Indy Lee Brightening Cream, <sighs> Philosophy Purity Cleanser, CeraVe SPF 30 AM Moisturizer. What else? Olaplex number three. This is really good. This is their, which one is it? The Hair Perfector. So I think you put this in before you wash it. More stuff. This is the Verb Glossy Shampoo and Conditioner. I will probably use that in my hair. Last few things. Pull these out pretty quick. This is the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Detangling Spray. Well, it's for curly hair. It says it's a spray, but it's in a pouch. Don't know how that works. Some, what is this? Oh, Tula has a skin tint. Radiant Skin Tint SPF 30. So your little bubble cards and Billy Eilish. Eilish, I guess she has a fragrance. Didn't know that. Urban Veda Purifying Day Cream. This is a moisturizer. Yep. And then a NYX, I believe. Yes, NYX Epic Wear Liner. And this shade is called Blue Trip. So that's a lot of stuff in this little bag. So now we're gonna move on to my trend mood box. These I pick up if there are at least like three things in the box that I want. Otherwise, I don't feel like it's really worth it. It usually costs about 40, 40 to 50 bucks, I think. And this one was, I believe, $44. And there were two products, three products. I'm gonna just get into it and say which ones. So the first thing is this Key Soul Care Nourishing Cleansing Balm. This is something I wanted to try. I love cleansing balms. I use these in the shower first 
to take off my makeup and then I go in with a cleanser and then I go in with a scrub. So I did want to try this brand. This is the Alicia Keys brand. Then there was this Kopari Niacinamide and Caffeine Eye Brightening Cream. I will always take an eye cream. I don't know the last time I paid for one because I get a lot of them in boxes or as free gifts or whatever. So love that. Then there is this Birdie Lashes Wing It Mascara 24 Hour Volumizing Dual Tip Mascara. I've never tried this. Um, I want to see what this dual tip thing means. Okay, it says it's a top and a bottom lash. So I guess one size for your top lashes, one is for the bottom. Innovative custom dual tip waterproof mascara. The volumizing and lengthening brush in delivers a buildable high intensity smudge proof appearance. The lower lash wand hugs each individual lash. Okay, that's kind of cool. Because I know there are some mascaras that I like for my top lashes that I'm terrified to try to do on my bottom lashes. So it's good that that comes as a two-in-one. Next, there is this Kapari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. I love Kapari as a brand in general. Does this have a smell? Let's see, because it doesn't say. Oh, it had a lid. Ooh, it does. I don't know what that smells like, though. It's kind of, it's sweet. Prickly pear and coconut oil. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to bring this upstairs because I would love to smell like this going to bed. So she's going to go on my nightstand. There's more stuff in here. This is the Key Soul Care Soft Stay Brow Gel. You can always use that. Then you get the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Yeah, in clear, so I don't think I have this. I think I have the Jelly Pop one, like the watermelon one, but I don't have this one. Then you get a pair of lashes from Birdie Lashes. This is the Gemini Lashes, and I saw these, and I thought that these were wearable, so definitely worth it. Very wispy, but not too thick. There's still more stuff. This box had a lot of stuff in it. This is the Kinship Self Reflect Rose Probiotic Moisturizing Zinc Oxide Sunscreen in SPF 30. I'm not going to open this right now. What's the expiration date? Oh man, October 2023, so I maybe need to. Um, but this is, I have used their sunscreen before and it gives your skin a glow. This one, because it's pink, it might be better than the normal ones that make us look ashy because it has a white cast. So I'm going to bring this upstairs and use it and keep y'all posted on that. And then last but not least, there was an eyeshadow palette in this box. So, I mean, I couldn't help myself. This is the Nabla, uh, what is this called? Read My Mind palette. The words are like read my somewhere else over here and then mind. So... I thought this was, I don't, if I saw this palette in the store, would I buy it? No. But the fact that it came in this box with all the other stuff, I thought it was, it was a good pick. I like the shades in it. I like that they have a green. This shade's a bit different. So you can put the colors together like this. You can do them as quads. So yeah, I don't know. I think this looks really cute. The next few items I have, I picked up from a beauty supply store. There's a beauty supply store next to my house. And whenever I'm just having a day, I will go in there and I will look at wigs and I will look at products. Sometimes I buy stuff, sometimes I don't. But I went in there for a specific reason because I wanted to find a better glue for the individual lashes that I want to try to use. So I picked up two. So this first one is by Kiss. And this is their individual, oh, no, this is a remover. This ain't a glue. This is the individual lash remover glue. It's biotin infused with a gentle formula. Yeah, we need to make sure when I'm wearing this stuff, I ain't pulling my lashes out. So I thought that this was going to be really good. You just brush it on top of your lashes along your lash line. Wait 20 or 30 seconds and then gently remove your lash without pulling really hard so like that that's there and then i also found these two times volume ultra black knotted lash trios so this again do they have short yeah these are short and mediums so there's no longs in this one but again these are the little clusters 
I'm determined to learn how to work these, especially because I sometimes want to wear lashes and don't want to fight with a strip. So I feel like if I can get something that'll last for a couple days, that would be fun. And then I also picked up this I Envy by Kiss Mega Hold Individual Lash Glue. So this is what this looks like. I decided to do clear instead of black because if I want to wear them with no makeup, I don't want to see like black on my waterline or my lash line. So that is what we got. And then two more products lead us actually into the rest of the stuff. This is the Impress Press On Manicure. Y'all know I love short press on nails and this brand works really well with lasting surprisingly long even with my workout schedule. So this is just, it's kind of like a watercolor with a peach and a cream and this purple blue, whatever you want to call this color. I feel like you never see my colors right. There we go. And then this is an iridescent that kind of is like shifty with a combination of these shades. So I like finding the short ones because I can wear those in the gym too. And then these were just, they were pretty and I couldn't help it. This is the medium length Kiss Gel Magnetic Fantasy Velvety Effect. So these are a multi-chrome nail that goes from blue to green to kind of purple. This is one of my favorite kind of peacock multi-chrome shades. And they had it in nails, so I was like, yep, I need to get it. And now we're moving into nails because I placed an order on Vanity Table. That is another place I love to get my nails from. If they have a sale, they send me a coupon code. I'm buying them because they are a little pricey. Most of the boxes, depending on what length you get, I always get the finger suits. Um, they usually range from around $13 to $17, but they last a long time, and I can get two, sometimes even three. There's 40 nails in here. It just depends on the sizes, but I'm gonna run through these real quick. This is the finger suit in the, I know these have the names on them somewhere, yeah. The coffin set in dark sunset. So these actually are black and then they kind of have this blue and pink and then it goes this ombre effect to a clear. So I thought that was really pretty. I hope you can see that. I feel like the mirror on the inside is kind of making it hard. Then I have this set already, but it's one of my favorites. This is Bestie, I believe. Yeah, Besties is the name of it. So similar coffin, watercolor marble. That's gonna be beautiful for spring and any other time I wanna wear it. This is a newer one to my collection. This is Viola. So this one is actually like an oval kind of round tip versus the coffin. And it's that pink to purple to nude. This next set, I think this is new to my collection too, is Willow. It kind of has that tweed pattern. Come on camera, there we go. Kind of has that tweed pattern and then the solid nail and then the French in the tweed. So just really pretty. I feel like that's different. Then this next one is Attention. This is also an oval pair. I just think that is so pretty. I love stuff that looks holographic. Then this next one, oh, so I got another pair of Viola. So we got two of those. I feel like there's some other duplicates in here. This one was really pretty as well. This is in Flowing. So this is kind of like a grayish, like a green olive kind of gray with some stripes on it and then a neutral kind of peachy shade with the same color stripes. So something different. I don't have that one. This is also one of my favorites. This is Sunset Marble. I probably have a backup box of this and a box that I've used once and now I have this one. I have used this one before. This is Rainy Saturday, another oval pair, but that blue is just so, so pretty. I love the ombre ones. What is this? This is called Berlin. So I don't know if, yeah, you can see it. So these are like dark and then these are kind of light like an ombre. So these will be more your accent nails, but gorgeous color. Then I picked up Indigo Flow, which this kind of reminds me of the other attention pair. It's a purple, but still kind of that holographic shade. Borders on kind of clear, but you can see some color in it. So. 
Again, just something different. This next one is bittersweet. This is so pretty. So this is kind of like a burgundy purple. So it starts off, come on, kind of burgundy at the top and then it goes to a darker purple, but there's also some gold kind of reflect in it. I just thought this was so pretty. I cannot wait to wear these. And then this last one, I have this one already, but I always pick up another one because purple is my favorite color. This is Cosmos and it's a purple kind of pink holographic gorgeous gorgeous really pretty and i don't know why i had this sitting in here but i guess i'll show y'all i've been trying to get better about wearing jewelry but i'm not spending all that money on it because i don't wear it often i found this ring at kohl's and this is their brilliance which i guess is like a man-made diamonds or something like that but i love the stacked ring look as so you can see, this kind of looks like three rings and it's kind of in a arrow. So you see it kind of has that arrow. It's not just straight across and it looks like three different rings are stacked, but it's really not. So I just thought that was pretty. Well guys, that is it. This haul was not that long, although I feel like I talked a lot. I didn't want to cramp too much stuff in it. This is stuff that I've had sitting for a while and I need to put it away. So I'm glad I finally got to show you. I feel like most of this stuff was more kind of something new I wanted to try, something I had been lusting over or stuff that I got because it was a great value. So in my head, it makes sense, you know, like this is how I tell myself this is a good reason to shop, right? We all do. It's. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what products you're looking forward to seeing. And if you have any of these already, tell me what you think about them. If you're new, I hope you decided to subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.